Company, Spritz Company. I love the name and uh, I love the idea just as much. So tell us about Sipony. Uh, thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, so Sipony is my business, my family business. We are a whiskey spritz on a mission in just a couple of words. Um, made with all real ingredients, delicious, refreshing, uh, sessionable, easy to drink, something quality that you can just grab out of your fridge really quickly. I'm so glad that you are able to drink a can with me right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's no better way to start my day. So what is, what's in Sipony? Because it's, um, it's a sparkling drink, and, and that is all the rage right now. Even every brewery, I feel like, in America is making a sparkly drink. But this one is a little bit different. So what's in it? Yeah, so all straightforward ingredients. This is Sipony Royale, what you have in your hands. It's our flagship cocktail, our first baby, as I like to call it. Um, a beautiful four to seven year old aged whiskey in there, a touch of honey, real actual lemon juice, all straightforward ingredients, carbonated to perfection, as I like to say. I have not, I don't know how many whiskey cocktails in a can I have seen. Uh, not very many, but I can guarantee you they're not as good as this one. This is so good. It tastes like a cocktail I just made at my home bar or that I got at a restaurant. It's so refreshing. And it, I, the lemon juice, you can really tell that it's real fresh lemon juice. Where did you come up with the idea? So um, I was a bartender in a former life uh, many moons ago, as well as a spirits, wine and spirits professional for multi-decades at this point. Um, but I came up with the idea for Sipony because I was working in some of the best bars in New York City, and we were making the best cocktails in the world, um, won many awards, these bars that I used to work at. But the point of it was everything we were doing was about the best ingredients and using the best quality ingredients and craftsmanship to make cocktails. So I made a very similar cocktail to this, um, many different iterations of this, never quite as carbonated to perfection as Sipony is. Um, but yeah, all straightforward ingredients. I think if there's one thing to remember with Sipony is that you're going to get the very best ingredients that you we could find to put inside of a can. And what I like about it, so I am, uh, I've tried all the seltzers, I've tried all the sparkling drinks, and what I always find is uh, they're not made for beer drinkers so much. They're not made for beer drinkers and then sometimes they're not made for people who, who like spirits. And this one doesn't taste artificial. It doesn't, it's not too sweet. It is a, it's a, a cocktail for somebody who appreciates cocktails. It's so good. But, but I, also want, I also want to mention that uh, celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month and that's sort of where you find your heritage. So why, why is that so important for you? So Hispanic Heritage Month for me is an opportunity to speak to representation for other Latinas like myself, specifically in the world of business. Um, I've spent many years in this industry and not many people have looked like me along the way. I've not been able to uh, recognize as many people in C-suite positions or executive positions, vice president and, and above positions, real uh, decision maker positions that are also Latinos as much. Um, so for me as a CEO and a founder and having a brand of my own, a company of my own finally, um, was no easy feat. But to me, it's about representation, being able to show that Latinas can do this. Um, we can have a seat at the table, a decision-making seat at the table. Yeah. And, you know, when people see themselves in business or in any sort of endeavor and they see that as a path for them, then we get more great products like Sipony. Because had, had you not thought that you could do it, we wouldn't have it. So what kinds of foods should I eat with Sipony? So Sipony is designed for food pairing. Uh, you said it, you've tried all of these cans on the market, all of the seltzers, all of um, the carbonated stuff. We were the first people to put an aged spirit inside of a can. People thought I was crazy for doing that, but it is the backbone of flavor for this particular canned cocktail. So what that means is nothing artificial, nothing synthetic, no processed sugars. It's really just a touch of honey in the can. And further to your question, food pairing comes really naturally to us. So you can have anything from a charcuterie to uh, a cheese board to a shrimp scampi dish, which I tend to 
eat a lot. <laughs> um, it's my daughter's favorite food is shrimp, so <laughs> we eat a lot of that at home. But seafood, raw bar, oysters, um, anything that you could pair with a beautiful glass of champagne similarly goes well with Sipney. That is an excellent uh, comparison because I was trying to think of what it is like and it is almost like champagne a little bit a little bit of champs and a little bit of bubbly this would be so good at a grazing table where you've got all those delicious cheeses and you've got some of those sweet uh, notes like your figs and your jams and stuff this would be so good for that this would be so good for one of those grazing party tables that everybody does. It's just a whole table full of snacks. I love this idea. Where can we find Sipany if we want to buy it? Yeah, so you can find Sipany nearly nationwide at Sipany.com or more directly just shopsipany.com. We're available now in about 13 different uh, states and bars and restaurants across the U.S. But the easiest way is direct to your doorstep, Sipany.com, S-I-P-O-N-E-Y.com. Okay, well, you found a fan today here in me. Amanda Victoria, thank you so much for being here with us today. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. So lovely to meet you. Thanks for having me. Cheers.